Hello, everyone. Welcome back to today's episode of The Final Bar. We're joined today by Roman Bogomazov from Wyckoff Analytics, joining us from San Francisco, sharing his take on the broad market environment. Roman, welcome to the show, my friend. David, thank you so much. Um, I always enjoy uh, coming to Stock Charts TV and first time I'm working with you. So uh, it's very exciting to be on the final bar. Roman, hopefully not the last. And you've done a lot of really good work for, for Stock Charts over the years. Thanks so much for that. The chart that you sent is, is wonderful. And I, I, I have such an appreciation of the Wyckoff method. I've always enjoyed hearing from you and others that are familiar with it. So I'd love to hear you talk through what this is telling you about the S&P here. Absolutely. The first point that I want to make, and I'm going to make three main points, and hopefully we're going to have a very short discussion after this. My first point is that it's an uptrend, higher highs, higher lows. I keep hearing, you know, and I talk to a lot of students, a lot of traders, that there is still such a negative sentiment about where we are in the structure, how we travel there. So if you look at the chart, you know, don't resist the uptrend. It's higher highs, higher lows. So we are there. Um, having said this, we definitely, uh, you know, might have some kind of short-term reaction, especially here. We are hitting some of the trend lines, as you could see, and I would be expecting that around 3,200, 3,250, there might be some kind of short-term poise, but still to the upside. And then possible, you know, conversation that, uh, you know, us why coffee would usually have is about upthrust. Is this an upthrust or is this a sign of strength? Well, the upthrust action like we've observed in the September, October of 2018. Another one was in July of 2019. Usually it's a temporary commitment about uh, the previous resistance and then almost instant come back into the trading range structure. We don't have it now. We had a moment at the end of October and actually throughout uh, November uh, where we had some short-term supply coming in into the market, but that has been resolved and supply has been vertically observed and suggested continuation of the uh, price movement to the upside. My second uh, point is that the horizontal counts, and you could see two counts here, the original count from the shakeout action at the end of 2018 into the automatic reaction into February of 2018, uh, leads us to the target of 35.25. That target is being confirmed by another horizontal uh, PNF count, which we could find on the backing up action in 2019. And that also points to 3,500. Whenever we have confirming counts, this is a really good indication of where potentially, you know, the price could go and where potentially we could have another stop in action. Another point that I want to make is look at the trend lines. Again, I have two channels here. One is a very short term and we are accelerating in that channel. And then another one is more of the intermediate uh, uh, kind. And we're seeing how we are uh, bumping into the mean of that, uh, you know, mean, uh, mean trend line. So once we overcome that 32, 32, 50, I think we might have actually accelerate into the uh, green box and into the overbought condition. Dave? Do you have any questions, maybe thoughts, maybe comments? Let's talk about this. You know, it's 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 a great chart, uh, Roman, and I love how you framed it out because you know, as, as I'm looking at, as you're talking through the, your last point, you know, you see this acceleration, and I know for so many investors this feels relatively extended. But when you put it in proper perspective, coming back to the shakeout at the end of last year, we're actually at the midpoint of that of that overall trend, right? It, it doesn't exactly. feel that extreme. I'm curious though. My question would be, you know, how do you reconcile this with what I don't know if you caught it at the beginning of the show, you know, one of the, the issues we've had on the S&P, on, on Apple, on Disney, on broker dealers, on healthcare, are these non-confirmations, something like RSI showing lower peaks while we see higher highs in price. How does that relate to what you're showing here, suggesting some further upside? Such a great question. And I'm showing here that supply is decreasing on the volume signature. You could see that the volume overall just goes down as the trend uh, advances. One of the things that I want to point um, uh, our viewers' attention to is the liquidity events, the one that happened in January, February of 2018, and then absorption into March, April. This was a rotational liquidity event. So uh, there were a lot of profit taken, and then new positions were established. The same happened in October, November, December 
also a huge liquidity event. And obviously the whole structure is being influenced by the external events like tariffs um, and so on and so forth. But those events allow institutions to change their portfolio, make the rotation in the portfolio in such way that allows them to absorb a number, a large number of shares. And that absorption of the supply allows the trend to stay uh, on and to be sustainable. We have some pockets of smaller liquidity somewhere between May and October of 2019. And those are so much minor in comparison to 2018 events. So once the supply is in strong hands, it does not require a lot of effort on the demand part to push the price up. So therefore, we will see that non-confirmation from the volume in general, non-confirmation from the demand, and also the momentum is going to show um, in a different way rather than from the points of high liquidity. David? Roman, that is one fantastic chart and a series of fantastic comments. I, I can't thank you enough for, uh, for coming on. I'd love to have you on in the new year if you'd be up for it. Absolutely. Good to be here. Roman, have a great holiday. Thanks again for sharing your take. Thank you.